giving you an opportunity to get the full story from the people who tell it best. This is Mediacom News Leaders. Everyone and welcome to Mediacom News Leaders. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Carol Kelly. Joining us today from the United Way of East Central Iowa, Tim Stiles. Tim, welcome. Hey, my pleasure to be here. Great timing. It's that time of year, right? Kick off to your yes. 2017 campaign, 1617 campaign. Talk to us about what your goal is this year. Well, we've been very fortunate to have great community support over the last 10 years. We've been able to raise over $10 million, and this is the 10th year we're going for a $10 million goal. So our goal is to raise over $10 million for the 10th year in a row. So 10 for 10. Tell us a little bit about some of the incentives that you have for people to donate this year. Well, we, like I said, have had some really good community support, but we still need to grow our donor base. So we've got a, a challenge grant that came to us from Holmes Murphy, where um, if, peop if a company uh, gives for the first time, those people that are giving in that company, their gift gets matched. So it has a two for one uh, impact on it. So, you know, if your company is first time giver and your company raises five or ten thousand dollars, that's ten thousand dollars out of that challenge grant that goes towards the services that we have. So that's our incentive for new givers. And then we've got a great, great number of givers that uh, have given to us for a long time and they're at a leadership level of giving two hundred and fifty dollars or more a year. If they increase their gift this year, they're going to get matched dollar for dollar thanks to a challenge grant we got from John and Diane Smith with the CRST company. But they've got given us a $100,000 challenge grant, so up to $100,000 will get matched for those leadership givers that increase their gifts. So really quite nice. If you look at it overall, we've got about $150,000 in these challenge grants to kind of incent people. If we make those matches, that's a $300,000 impact on our campaign goes a long ways towards raising that $10 million for the 10th year in a row. I'm very impressed with the United Way and the partnerships that you have with area businesses. And talk to us about the importance of that. Well, like I said, we've gotten great community support, but I think one of the things that makes United Way uniquely qualified to do what they do around community impact and education and financial stability and health is the partnerships we have with the agencies. You know, nearly 30 agencies that we work with on the ground to make sure things happen, but with government organizations and with businesses. You know, we can't do it without our business support, and we get them on the volunteer level, we get them on the donations level like I talked about. But uh, the involvement of the community is crucial, and I think United Way brings that community to the table to solve community problems and to have financial resources as well as human resources, I think, is what makes us uniquely qualified to, to solve those problems. Talk to us about where this money does go, because it does all stay local, correct? Yes, it does, and I think that's good. Uh, we have 1% that goes out, so we can call ourselves United Way, but we end up getting a lot of training and what we send out we get far better in, in return as far as the amount of money but 99 percent is going to stay here locally in the community and I think that's important. Um, it goes into the areas of education where we're trying to make sure kids enter school ready to learn. We know that if a kid enters school ready to learn he's going to be four times more likely to graduate so we want to make sure they get all that early on touches with regards to um, reading skills, vocabulary skills and that type of thing. We also are working in the areas of financial stability. We know a lot of families have trouble making ends meet, but if we can help them with that goal, with maybe giving them additional training so they can get a job that can help pay for the bills, all those kind of strategies around improving financial stability is another goal that we've set for ourselves. And then, of course, you need good health to enjoy you know, your education and financial stability. So health area is one area that we are focusing in on as well. And that's to make sure people can have that social connectedness, you know, not be isolated, be able to access health services that they might need and that sort of thing. So those three areas, if we hit those three areas, I think it makes our community a better place for everybody. And let's talk about that. You work with over 30 area groups that yeah. will work with those those goals like you talked about. And let's yeah. talk about that. Well, and you know, we've got a lot of great agencies. I it, Too many to list. I'd probably start listing and miss some and that would be too bad. But it was the, the 30 agencies that we work with all are working in unison towards these goals that we've set for the community. And like I said, it's very important if we can hit those goals in education and financial stability and health, those are the building blocks to a successful life for everybody. And if we can improve upon that, that increases the standard of living and quality of life for our community. And that's what makes the community a better place to live. So they're really good goals. Like I said, the money stays here locally. We've got incentives this year, that type of thing. So I think it's a, it's a good investment in your community to give to United Way. Well, Tim, good luck with your campaign this year. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. This has been Mediacom News Leaders, your opportunity to get the full story from the most reliable sources.